All right, people, happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday. Um, listen, it's Wednesday. If you're single, click the request button. Make sure you're on Do Not Disturb. You're connected to your Wi-Fi, good lighting, good energy. We don't take any videos down. We have a good time. And we're going to invite some people to, to send you on dates. But you have to click the request button, and I'll bring you on. Let's see if um, Kylie is coming on. I don't know if that person. We'll see. Stop calling me Uncle Lamont and we the same age. Look, people, you can't call me uncle if we're the same age. Okay. <laughs> you call me friend. It's fine. Hello. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing awesome. You want to turn your camera so you can look um at us the right way? Right. Sorry. Let me just fix that. Are you, in a, a, are you on your phone or a tablet? My phone. Oh, okay. Okay. What's your I name? What's your name, friend? My name is Kylie. It's Kylie? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you, Kylie. Where, have you watched the show before? Yes. Okay. So that, make, that makes you a shooter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kylie, where are you watching from? Um... I live in a group home. You're in a group home? Okay, but what, what city? Uh, Richmond. You're in Richmond, Virginia. My husband is from Richmond, Virginia. We were up there a couple weeks ago. That's what's up. Nice. nice. Now, are you part of the LGBTQ plus community? You are? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which, which, which letter are you taking tonight, Kylie? I'm trans. You're trans? Okay. Okay. So what pronouns are you using, Kylie? She, her. Oh, love it. Love it. How old are you? I am 25. 25. Nice. Okay. Okay. So you know this is a, a dating show, right? Yes. So are you trying to shoot your shot tonight? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Perfect. 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 Okay. So Kylie, you're in Richmond and you said you're 25? Yeah. How tall are you? About how much do you weigh? I'm five one. You're five one, and how much do you weigh? Um, that I'm not too sure about because they they know that. You who's the they? Nurses, the nurses. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And you said you're in a group home. Yes. Okay, how long have you been in a group home? What's going on? I've lived here for about four years. Four years? Okay, okay. The only reason I'm here is because I have, I was born with a disability. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do, uh, do you like the group home? Do people take good care of you? You have nice friends there? Um... I don't really have many friends down here in Richmond, though, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Where are all your friends, Kylie? Mostly back at home, which is, I'm not originally from here. I'm originally from Martinsburg, West Virginia. Martinsburg. Okay, so that's, how far away is that? About four and a half. Four and a half, like, hours? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. So the group homes must be much nicer in Richmond, which is why you're there. Yeah. Okay. 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 Now, are they LGBTQ friendly? Yes. Okay. Then listen, that's good because I I don't have to come up there and kick nobody's ass if they if they if they're not nice to you. <laughs> yeah. Um, my friend, my my good friend actually recommended me to you. Oh, who's your friend? Um, her name is Shelly. Shelly? Wait, is she a nurse? Uh-huh. Oh, I know Shelly. I ain't gonna say her last name on here, but I know Shelly. Shelly's a whole okay. mess, okay? <laughs> 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 yes, yes, I know Shelly. Good, good. She's good people. Okay, so yeah. then you come highly recommended then, Kylie. Then you go. Yes. <laughs> okay, good, good. So you said, oh, what's your zodiac sign? Oh, I'm a Sagittarius. Oh, Lord, today. So is my husband. I'm sorry. So you're Sagittarius. Okay. And um, <clears throat> so you're 25, right? I'll be 26 this year. 
Oh, good. Then I can ask you spicy questions then, Kylie. You'll you'll be okay then, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So sexually, are you more team top, bottom, verse, side? What do you like? I'm going to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I have never had sex before. Okay. So you're, you're a virgin. Okay. Listen, listen. Yep. And you're probably the only person on this live that's a virgin who's watching, okay? Probably the only one. The rest of these people. I want one. Of those, I want. I was if in the comment section. Y'all can prove me wrong. <laughs> okay. Now say if you were to have sex, what do you think you imagine yourself being? Probably a top. You'd be a top. Okay. Okay. You'd be top. Now, do you want to date? Guys, girls, both, trans. Guys. You want to date guys? Okay. And then you mm-hmm. would, you want to date guys and you would be topping them? Yes. Okay. Okay. Listen, we'll, we'll see how we can make it happen for you. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know you said you're in a group home and you're um, disabled. Do you volunteer anywhere or what do you like to do for fun? Um, well, I love music. Uh-huh, I uh-huh. love video games. Uh-huh. I love going out. I love shopping. Okay. Okay. Video games, shopping. Nice. Nice. No, and t- I love, and I love fashion. And what type of fashion do you like, Kylie? Well, I have a really good eye for fashion. I see an art. I'm, I'm really good with like fashion and clothing mm-hmm. and in an art. Because mm-hmm. I see it in art and in clothes, because that's how art was made by mm-hmm. clothing. Okay. And honestly, it was like it's my favorite thing is to create and make different things in fashion. Okay. Someone wants to know: Do you have a favorite designer? Um, I. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's Louis, Louis Vuitton. I like Louis I, I like a good Louis, too. Yes, I like a good Louis. Yes, you can't go wrong with that. I see that you're a big Ariana Grande, Grande fan. Yeah. Yes, you love her music? Absolutely. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's, let's tell the people what your Instagram handle is. I'm putting it down right now. So it's it's Ari Studio Three. It's an A. Well, well oh. this is this is just the fan account. My uh, my real account is the Kylie Swan. Oh, so okay, so so you give us a different one. So get a spell, Kylie. What it? Uh, K Y L I E. K Y L I E. Mhm. And then Swan. S W A N. Okay. So it's the Kylie Swan is the one is your real account, but you're on the RE Studio um three right now. Okay. Right. Right. All right, you all. This is Kylie. Kylie lives in Richmond, Virginia. She is 25, five foot one. We don't know how much she weighs. She's trans. She's a Sagittarius. Team top, if it ever comes to it, but she's a virgin. And she's big into fashion. Okay, people. Now you said you're open to dating men, right? Right. Okay. Um, give me some qualities that you would want in a guy. Well, I want a nice guy that will be there for me mm-hmm. throughout thick and thin. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I want them to be charming, sweet, mm-hmm. kind, loving. You know, just just not someone who's going to be mean. No, you know you, what I'm saying? You sweet, caring guy. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever dated a guy before? Had a boyfriend or? Uh, yeah. Um, actually, my recent one, I just got, like, this was like a year ago. Okay. And he did me so wrong. And 
it was horrible. Kylie, what did he do? He cheated on me, he cheated on me with a bunch of other men. Mm, 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 mm. Were y'all supposed to be exclusive? We were. How long we got together? Two months. Two months. Okay, okay. So we got, well, you know, two months. Most people aren't exclusive at two months. They, they, they <laughs> I'm going to tell you the truth. They're not. They're not. No, 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 no. <laughs> Do you think he wanted to have sex with you? Is that what it was? Honestly, I just, I feel like he wasn't being real with me. Okay. 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 And that's what hurts me the most because that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for someone that is actually going to be real with me and mm -hmm. not hurt me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. mentally yes. and physically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Listen, it's, it takes a, t a lot of time to find somebody who is real, genuine, is not going to try to take advantage of you. Yes. So we're going to find somebody for you tonight. Let's see. Let's see. Now... <laughs> Do you want to get married? Do you want to have children? So here's what I want for my future. I want kids and I want a lovely man that is going to come home, love on me when he comes home, kiss me and just, you know, ask me how my day is. Just be there for me, you know, like not, not just be there for sex. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So it's more more than sex. More, it's more about companionship and loving each other. Yes. Right. Okay. What's a good age range? Well, I mean, I can go from mm, I can go up to the thirties. Because like, you're twenty five, so yeah, maybe about like thirty would be good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Now, does the guy have to live in Richmond, or are you open to other cities? Because Richmond can be a hard city to date in. I'm, I'm open. Okay, so you're open to different cities. Okay. Now, how would you date someone who didn't live in Richmond? Would you all do video chats? Would they come see you? Would you go see them? So, I can't travel because I would have to have a nurse with me. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I don't have the funds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, they would have to come here. Okay. And we we could actually video chat as well. Okay. Now, are you allowed to have guests at the group home? Yeah. Okay. 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 Now, does your family know that you are trans? Like, uh, date guys? What are their feelings about it? Well, unfortunately for me, the only piece of family that I have right now with me is my mother because all my other family, all my other family um, kind of disregarded me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And now is your mother um um supportive? Yeah, she's very supportive. Okay. Okay. So I feel like the your mom needs to interview the guy that you meet to make sure that he he's he's um, honest and genuine. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. So you're open to cities, different cities, but he would have to come visit you there and you all can do video chats. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What about like body type? What do you like? I, hmm, I like masculine. You like say it again. Masculine. Oh, guys with muscles. Okay. What? What? What else? Um. Hmm. Honestly, I think that's about it. So they got to have muscles. <laughs> that's what you're saying. <laughs> you want a muscular power bottom over there. That's what I heard, Kylie. That's what I'm hearing over there. Okay. That's what you said. Okay. Um, what about race? What do you prefer? Um, honestly, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you're pretty open to race. Um, now, are you more into monogamy, open relationships, agreements, poly? What you like? 
Um, say it one more time. Do you want to date a guy where it's just the two of you all? Or do you want to invite other people into the relationship? No, just the two of us. Just the two of us. You want monogamy. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see what questions they have for you, Kylie. If you have questions for okay. Kylie, use the question function. Or you can wave and I can bring you on. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Um, somebody said they know a couple muscular power bottles for you, Callie. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to questions. Um, oh, someone said, do you sew or sketch? No. No. Okay. Okay. Um, um, just so you know, I am hooked up to a machine. So if you hear a beep, that that's my machine. I'm so sorry in advance. Oh, it's, it's fine. We can't hear it. Yeah. Okay. If you were to take a guy on a date, what would you how what type of date would you plan? Um I would do like going out to dinner, maybe a nice restaurant. Mm -hmm. Something classy. Something okay, restaurant, something classy. Okay. Um, I think someone wants to come on and ask you a question. Let's see. Let's see. Um, and I've been trying to get on your stream for a while now. Oh, okay, okay. What's going on? Hello. What's up? Hey, what's going on, buddy? Nothing. How you doing? I'm doing great. This is Kylie. You say hi to her. Hi. How you doing, ma? Hi. Do you, How you been? I'm good. Do you want to introduce yourself and ask her a dating question, maybe? Let me ask something. What kind of disability you got? got? Uh, I was born with a really rare muscular disease. Muscular dystrophy. Hey, there's mostly God is always with you, Carly. What? Look, God is always with me in love. Just because, just because we got a disability, that doesn't mean we can't give up on life. Right. And it's mostly what my mom told me and what my dad told me. You can never judge a book by his cover because you see my good friend Lamar up there. He got such a kind heart, and God is always with him. Oh, thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jay. Ask her a dating question. Something to get to know more about her. This is, it's a dating show, Jay. Oh, Lighten up. Question. Lighten up. Come on. Come on. Get it together. Come on, friend. <laughs> I got a question. Um, okay. Have you ever dated somebody that treats you right before? Unfortunately, no. But you asked her if, if if she dated somebody who what? Who treated her right. And nobody has treated you right? No. Nothing. Really. Do you know, do you know what you should do, Carly? What? Always, always pray to God because, look, you never know. Maybe you might find somebody good out there. You should never give up hope. Right, Lamar? I agree. I agree. Listen, Jay, you might have to, you know, slide her DM a little later and talk to her and, you know, show her how to, you know, a, a guy treats a lady. Yeah, because there's more serious. No, nah, but there's more serious. There's more serious. I'm 29 years old and there's more serious my mom told me. My mom told me it's always good to date somebody that is my age or somebody a little bit older and not younger. How old are you? 29. Kylie's 25. But, but I understand she's 25. Yes, she's 25. She's old enough to be my sister, you know? <laughs> I'm not saying anything wrong, Carly. I'm just saying my opinion. You understand me, Ma? 
I understand. Because look, 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 let me tell you something. Even when I went on live when I'm the mom when I first met her, right? God gave me and them as friends for a reason. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Jay, do you travel? Yeah. Yeah, I travel sometimes to like doctor's appointments. I go to David Buster's, BBQ's. Okay, 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 okay. Well, and, good. And Lamar. And I also go to um WWE shows when I get a chance. Wait, wrestling? Yeah, I'm a big fan of that. You like that? Uh oh, there's a wrestling belt over there. <laughs> Let me find out. I got, How many wrestling? I, got, I have How like many? four wrestling belts. We got um four wrestling belts. I got one though, but I have a lot of wrestling t-shirts. Let me tell you something. Lamont can tell you every time when I used to go on his live, he always used to see me wearing a wrestling shirt, right, Lamont? I agree. I remember. Yes, yes, yes. It's because, the belts for me. Because, it's the belts. Ready? <laughs> I got to meet. Like, you to know me. what? I, I tell um, you one thing. Lamont got such a kind heart and look. Look, Lamont, one day when you guys come out to New York, Right, I want to hang out with you on one day. Okay, I you keep I'll keep you posted. But listen, thanks for coming on to ask um um Kylie a question. Make sure you follow her Instagram and send her a message. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Can I say something on your live very quick before you calm me down? Sure. Go ahead. Make it quick, buddy. Guys. Guys, always respect the person who respects you. In life, because let me tell you something, money doesn't equal to the love. Short mistakes carries tall consequences. Never use your friends for money. Always be grateful who you, who you date. Because look, once when you find the right one, you got to be great, grateful. No, right. I know. Because you see my friend Lamar up there? Okay. Look. Look, guys, he found somebody good. Oh, but that doesn't mean we could find somebody good. You you can. You you gonna slide in Callie's DM after this, okay? All right. Give me five for that, Lamar. All right, we're gonna I'm gonna get her. Let me finish talking to Callie, okay? It's her time, okay? <laughs> All right. Okay. See you, Jay. Lamar, if you ever wanna if you ever want to carry me back up, you could, okay, buddy? All right, buddy. See ya. <laughs> Callie, I want to make sure it's about you. Jay trying to take over your spotlight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so oh. I think he's in New York, maybe, I think. Yeah. Okay. I think somebody else wants to come in and ask you a question. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, this is Shelly. This is Shelly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Shelly. Huh? Shall we? Yes. <laughs> if she accepts, let's see. There we go. Shelly. Hey. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what are you doing? Get your butt. What is your butt doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Hi, darling. Hey. <laughs> Shelly, introduce yourself and ask her a dating question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hello. <laughs> I'm Shelly. I'm a nurse for Kylie. And I introduced Kylie to Lamont, told, him, told her about the show so that she can get on sometimes and just enjoy herself and maybe possibly meet somebody. Listen, thank you. Yeah. There was a guy who was just talking to her a moment ago. I saw that. I saw that. They both like wrestling. They got the wrestling belts over there and the shirts. And I met wrestlers too. Oh yes. <laughs> are you at the Juicy yeah. Crab, ma'am? Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, where are you? I'm at Bull Bay. Oh, that's the same um, thing as Juicy Crab, Bull Bay. Okay. okay. Hey. Hey, Shelly. 
Don't forget to pick up my poster from Ulta. Say what? Don't forget my poster from Ulta. Oh, God. Anybody else tell me about that post on the screen? Remember? <laughs> I'm not going to forget your poster. Oh, do you? Okay. All right. And tomorrow? Are you here tomorrow? Am I doing what? Are you here tomorrow? No. I'll be back Tuesday. All right. Well. And I'll make sure I get the poster. <laughs> and I gotta talk to you too. Okay. Go ahead and get yourself, get your date on. Let people slide the DMs. Brianna, Bree just said, hey, Kylie. Hey. See you, Shelly. <laughs> I appreciate that, Lamar. Bye, Shelly. Uh, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I add a fourth person on? Hold on. Let's see oh, if this works. Let's what see if this works. Uh -huh. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Instagram may do How it. They may it? not. Oh, it, there you go. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Art. <laughs> hey, Shelly. Hey, Art. Hey. What's Hi. your name, man? <laughs> that, that, this is, her name is Kylie. Oh, Kylie. How you doing, Kylie? I'm sorry. Yes. What you... She heard <laughs> pronouns. So, okay, I got you. Kylie, <laughs> she Shelly and I are best friends. Yeah, me and her are best friends, too. Oh, no, no, baby. That's my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play with me, Kylie. <laughs> Don't play them kind of games. <laughs> She's not your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Did you, Come on, all right. Do you have a question? You have Hello, a question Shelly. for her? You have a question for her? What? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Shelly. Shelly. Shelly's birthday is tomorrow. Happy yes. birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Kylie. I hope you, you find some good love here. I know, you know, we like it spicy. <laughs> Look, one day we were on the we were on the bus, and um, this guy Josh is on the bus, and Josh is cute as a button, so cute. Finally said, Josh, delicious. I thought I was gonna die. Listen, you better shoot believe. your shot. You better let, let it know, be known. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> be good. All right, John. All right, all right. We're going back to the Cali Thanks show. <laughs> Bye, Cali. Bye. All right, all right. I, look, you got all these people coming on, asking you questions. <laughs> all right, I think I, I got two more questions for you. Um, they said, who is your favorite um, WWE diva? Who's your favorite wrestling diva? Of all time? Yes. Uh, I love Trish. Trish? Stratus. Okay, okay, okay. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada. One more question. Let's see. Um, do you have a favorite rapper? You like rap music? Oh, yeah. I love... I have a lot of favorites. <laughs> Give me one. Give me one, Callie. <clears throat> I love Nicki Minaj. You like Nicki Minaj? What, what song you like of, of Nicki's? <clears throat> I like... I like Super Freaky Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was going to be something ratchet. I knew it. I knew it, friend. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> All right, listen. All right, y'all. This is Kylie. Kylie lives in Richmond, Virginia. She is 25, five foot one. She is trans. She is a Sagittarius, team top, but she's a virgin, but she's open to date muscular bottoms. She wants to get married, have children, will date between 25 and 30. Any city, but y'all got to do video chats and you got to come visit her. And her mom will go have to interview you before you go on a date with her. That's my recommendation, okay? Um, <laughs> Again, muscular, open to race, into monog monogamy, and she's a Nikki fan. Tell us your Instagram handle one more time. The Kylie Swan. All right. Kylie, thanks for being our first guest tonight and shooting your shot. 
course. This was an awesome interview. <laughs> and um, if you want, you can follow me on my name. Absolutely will. Um, will do. Because um, I don't really go live on my um, on this account much. Okay. So they'll make sure they'll, they'll follow you on the Kylie Swan. Yeah. P-H-E-K-Y-L-I-E-S-W-A-N. That's right. There we go. All right. Thanks for coming on, Kylie. Love you guys. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, my goodness. That was an awesome interview. Listen, Callie says she's trying to bust down the muscular bottoms over there. Who is signing up? Now, wait a minute. Do you all think there was a love connection between Jay and Kylie? I want y'all to let me know. What? <laughs> Micah, whatever, I am not. Do you all think that was a love connection between Jay and Kylie? What y'all think? What y'all think? Yes, no, maybe so. You know, Jay, uh, Jay said he's straight, but he a little, you know. It's okay, Jay. <laughs> Was that a love connection or no? <laughs> Was it? Was it? Was it? Was there a little connection? I I felt the connection. I, I don't know if y'all saw it. I saw the connection. <laughs> I can see them fussing at each other. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, it's always the guy who's the uh, one who's afraid to shoot his shot. Okay. <laughs> ah! I I I. <laughs> The comment section, you all never, ever, 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 ever fail me. You never fail me. You never fail. You uh, Listen, I can't wait to watch this again on YouTube at these damn comments, okay? Y'all are <laughs> horrible. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So I'm going to hit Callie up on Sniffies. Callie ain't on Sniffies. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. I cannot. Oh my goodness. Are y'all gonna rank Callie? Are we ranking Callie? <laughs> Let's rank Callie. If you think um Callie is dateable, put a 10. If not, put a one. Okay. I'm gonna let y'all rank. Callie getting ranked like everybody else. So go ahead in the comment section. Are y'all is Callie dateable? 10. If not, put a one. What y'all think? She a sweetheart. Is she dateable? Is the question though. Okay. <laughs> I, I, Micah, I knew you'd be the first to vote. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm gonna bring on um Jamartin. Jamartin, I see you. Jamartin, I will bring you on. Tens, I see tens, I see eight. Kanubi, you can vote, friend. We need a whole number. Come on. I see a 10, I see a one. <laughs> I see a 10. What y'all think? Is she dateable? Oh, oh, that was a 10 in. Okay, okay. <laughs> Listen, it takes a lot of courage to get up here in front of y'all. Y'all a tough crowd. Y'all know y'all are. Y'all definitely a tough crowd. It's looking like she is ranking... <sighs> About a seven, because a bunch of y'all, y'all, y'all are polarized. Okay, y'all polarized. It's like what this election should be. It should be one way, and a small put a percentage of people voting for the other guy. But it ain't gonna be like that come November. Y'all not. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. deserves a good man. Okay, she need a good a good man. All right, I'm gonna go to. Jamartin, Jamartin, I'm coming to you. Jamartin, or is it something Maurice? Let's see. Make sure you update your app if you're trying to come on. Hello, hello, hello. First of all, these people are crazy and mean, so be nice. Oh my goodness. You come on with the with the well, Poor Kylie. <laughs> no, poor Kylie. I thought poor they were Kylie. nice to Kylie. I mean. 
You don't think they were nice to Kylie? Be nice to me. Okay, so you said you said you said you said be nice to you. Now, have you watched the show before? Of course. Okay, that's why you come on here saying these people better be nice. Okay, we do need a little bit more light. It's kind of dark. Yeah, you're like it's super bright. Hold on, uh, you know this loft. This loft lighting is a little different. Hold on a second. If you just face the light, that would be like awesome. Yeah, hold on. Let's, let me just go on my bed actually. Yeah, they're saying in the comment section they were nice to her. I mean, I guess all that's relative. <laughs> he said, Lamar, I'm not sad, co signing that comment. No, no, no. Yeah, I guess all that's kind of relative. Oh. If you ask me, how's this lighting? It is better. It's better. Okay, okay. Now tell me, what's your name? My name is actually not Jamartin, it's Jamar. It's but you can call me Jamar and Luther King. It's Jamar, but what's this Jamar and Martin Luther King? Where did this name come from? Um, so, I mean, I'm like, a, so I'm a community activist and that's kind of like been my name since like college. So when I wanted to hide myself when I was in school, I uh, changed my name to Jamar Luther King. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Jamar, you don't have to hide anymore. <laughs> you know, right. <laughs> now, um, are you single? Very. You got a boyfriend? Nah. You got a husband? Nah. You got a roommate you still smashing? Nah, not at all. Okay. Can anybody in the live say that's my man? Well, well I hope not. I, oh, oh, so we're not sure. You say you hope not. Okay, okay. <laughs> Where do you live, Jamar? Um, I live upstate New York. Okay, what part of upstate New York? So I live in a city called um, Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie? People actually might know. People actually might know about Poughkeepsie because it's like becoming like a thing lately. Yeah, Poughkeepsie. But say it again, please. Yeah, yeah, no, say it, say it, say Pukitsby? it. Pukitsby? P Pukitsby, yeah, Pukitsby. You can say Pukitsby. People say it all wrong. <laughs> Pukitsby, okay. How long have you been up there? Um, Forever, literally. Are you life. from there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went to school, high school here, college here. I work in city government here. Oh, okay, okay. How old are you? I'm 33. 33, okay. Sorry, my dog is bugging out over there. I can hear it moving around. What kind of dog is the baby? Um, she's a lab puppy, actually. A lab? Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. <laughs> they tease me because I couldn't say for kiss me. <laughs> yeah, say it. Right, 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 right. Say it. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> it's that Pittsburgh tongue they say it keeps coming out. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, how tall are you now? How much do you weigh? Um, I'm like 5'10". I weigh like 190, one like 195. Okay. And what's your zodiac sign? I'm an Aries, big Aries. Aries energy. What? How, what's the energy that Aries give off? Um, I mean, we are the leaders of the zodiac. So, I mean, we pretty much like the head of everything, the leaders, the, 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 uh, the thinkers, the one who's going to get you through everything. Um, I'm kind of, yeah. Okay. Kind of big, big, big on my leadership. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, you know, the game. Anger. That's true. Someone said Aries equals anger, but not always. A little aggression. A little aggression. Just, yeah. a, little, just, a, little yeah. Bit, just a little bit. Um, somebody said, Lamar, I thought you were drinking water. I'm drinking water and I'm drinking wine, people. Is that okay with y'all? Is that okay? Oh. Okay, we're going to move on. Is your page private? Um, probably. Jamar, who you hiding from? What's going on, friend? I, don't know, I really don't really, like, I'm really not a social media girl. Put you I on, probably, I probably... put you on social media. So it's fine. I enjoy if... you. Huh? I enjoy you. That's, that's, that's what I'm on there. Thank you. Thank you. So it's fine if it's private, but when we hang up, you got to make it, um, public. I'll make it public. For at least yeah. 24 hours, Okay. I'll leave it public for 75 hours. I got you. There we go. That way people can follow you, send you messages, talk to you. Let's say let's go on a date and not talk to a, a, a page because your picture also is like a little baby. Oh, yeah. So that's my dad, actually. So my dad is like my twin. He just recently passed. Um, so that was just kind of like a little trippy. Oh, I'm so too. sorry. How, how, how long ago did he pass away? Um, almost like 11 months, 12 months, okay. 10 months, I mean, 10, 11 months. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so I get it. You want to make a tribute to your dad. 
get it. I get it. But then that just means you're when you go public, you have to have a bunch of pictures of yourself on your page. Do you oh, have, yeah, I mean, they're all of myself. Current pictures? Yeah, of course. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, okay. That way people actually, you know, don't feel weird um, when they want to send you messages. Okay. <laughs> I'm just telling you, I'm trying to set you up for success. You'll, you'll thank me later, all right? I appreciate it. All right. Um, so you're, you're Aries. Now, sexually, you know, the gays want to know, are you team top, bottom, verse, side? I think I am a verse side. I, and, like, I know you're about to ask, like, what what percentage? I think it's kind of like 50-50 lately. Uh, we're listening. The last 12 months, what, what's, what's been going on, friend? A lot of nothing, but um, I think I've been, like, side. I, I mean, I've just recently learned what that is. Mm -hmm. um, so I I think I've been side the last like six months, um, but that's because I'm just bored. Okay, so you've been siding out of boredom. Yeah, I mean, like the ninjas out here, it's like kind of, you know, I'm just bored with them, so I haven't really been doing much. Okay, in okay. The past, you know, a year or so. Okay, so when's the last time you top? When's the last time you bottomed? Um. Um. Last time I bought them, probably like a year ago. Last time I topped, probably like three months ago. Okay. okay. So it's giving verse side, verse side, maybe? Yeah. Maybe yeah, verse yeah. side. Okay, okay. Okay. Hmm. I have more questions later, but we we, we go we go get there, friend. Okay. What type of work do you do, um, Jamar? Uh, so I actually work in city government. I'm like, I'm the city clerk for the uh, city of Poughkeepsie. You're a city clerk. And so yeah. what what tell us a little bit more about what that looks like. Um, so I mean I am actually the first African American male to be in this role. Um, um we I basically am the clerk for the city. I, I'm the records keeper for the city. You keep the records? I, uh, basically for the whole city, yeah. Um and part of the county. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. My husband just brought me some more wine. I don't know why. <laughs> I blame the comment section. Okay, so you do records keeping at the at the at the for the city and your clerk right. and your first right. black one I heard, right? Uh black man. Black man. So they had black women before. Yeah, actually I'm the first man in like a hundred years to take be in this role. Are you really? Yeah, it's been like women just women in this role for like the past hundred years. How do you feel about that? Um, it's cool. I mean, I enjoy it. I mean, um, I'm kind of controversial around my community, like my activism. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's 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 different to be on like this side, on like the actual day to day city side. Okay, look at you making history over there, Jamar. You know, we just elected our first black mayor, so it was cool. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So, um, what's your Instagram handle? Um, it's J. So J A Y underscore. Maurice, M-A-U-R-I-C-E. All right. All right, you all, this is Jamar. Jamar lives in upstate New, New York, Poughkeepsie. Apparently, I can't say it right, Poughkeepsie. <laughs> Come on, teach me how to say it. I don't know why it's the wine. Say it. Say it. It's uh, po uh, like Poughkeepsie. So Poughkeepsie. 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 Yeah. Poughkeepsie. Yeah. Okay, I don't yeah. know why I was saying something else. Okay, but he lives in Pokis, <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, whatever. I love Pokip it. I love it. C, C. Okay, New York. He's 33, 5'10", 190 pounds. He is an Aries team verse side, and he is a city clerk keeping records. If you all have qu questions for um, Jamar, use the question function or wave in the comment section and you can come on. All right, let's see. All right, now do, what type of guy are you looking for? Um, I need someone, all right, so because I work in politics and like I'm always like in the community doing some, I need someone who's like super independent, like got their own thing going on. Um, I feel like the past relationship I was in um, didn't really work out because that person didn't really have much going on. Um, and I was never really around to like feed that loneliness that they were searching. So 
for sure, I need someone who's independent, um, mm -hmm. got their own thing going on, um, but we can like link together and create like something big. Um, other than that, I don't, I don't not, I don't really have like, I don't know, I don't know, to be honest with you. I know I like, I like want someone who's who's got a job. I think nowadays <laughs> they just don't have jobs, um, and I also want someone who has like a career. So I feel like a job and a career are a little bit different, right? So I feel like someone with a career has passion about what they're doing and like they're enjoying what they're doing whether it be fashion or whatever i don't know i don't really care you like fashion um, yeah whatever I, I live in new york everyone likes fashion okay 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 um what's the longest relationship that you've been in um like three years mm, yeah yeah like three years you said about three years okay okay um let's see okay now, do you want to get married? Do you want to have children? I'm indifferent about marriage. Um, I, I'm indifferent about marriage. I, if if my partner wants to get married, I'm down for it. Same with children. I'm not like gung ho to have kids. Um, and this dog has taught, yeah, kind of proven that I'm not really gung ho. To have kids. Getting a dog uh, will teach you, like, oh yeah, I can or I can't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I mean. Yeah, I'm pretty indifferent. Um, I'm open to marriage. Um, it's, it's not like a, you know, a mandatory, but... Mm -hmm. What's the... What the uh, um, mm -hmm. When was your last relationship? 2023. Okay, so not too far. Okay. Yeah. That's a lot. 23 or 22. Maybe 22. Yeah, maybe 22. Okay. It was short-lived. It was like a nine-month relationship. Okay. Uh -huh. And how are you meeting guys since you're upstate New York? Like, so it's not like a big New York City or a major city. Like, how is it like trying to connect with guys? I mean, not for another. I do meet a lot of people in New York City because mm -hmm. I'm I'm in New York City a lot. Mm -hmm. um, mostly, I meet people just like being out, being out and about. Sometimes, maybe like I run on the app. Sometimes, if mm -hmm. I if I download an app, mm -hmm. um, but mostly like I live in a small city, so we all know each other. It's like two degrees of separation in our <laughs> in the gay community here. Okay. Um, but I meet a lot of people in like New York. I feel like I date a lot in New York City. Okay. Okay. And how far away is New York City from you, like in driving? It's like an hour and fifteen minutes to get to like Harlem. Oh, that's not bad. That's like Atlanta tra a traffic here. Yeah, it's like being in traffic in Atlanta. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's traffic here. Um, um. Okay. Okay. Now, um, what's a good age range that you will date? Like, what's the youngest? What's the oldest? So I usually do like five years younger is the, the youngest out there, so like 28. And I usually do five years older, but I, as of late, like I think like 40, 45, 40 to 45 is like, my ex was 40. Um, so yeah. Okay. Some of I mean, not, the, not, over, not over 45 for sure. So like 28 to 45, okay. Someone wants to know if your Jack profile is active. No. No, it's not active. Are any of your apps active? Not right now. Okay. I mean, unless somebody wants me to turn them on. Apparently, they do, Jamar. Like they're trying <laughs> to find you. I, listen, people, he's right here. You can slide his DM here. You ain't gotta wait till he goes in the app unless you're trying to do something else. <laughs> you know, I mean, people will approach you in the app that it, it's a whole nother person, right? I, it is what it is. Okay. Now, does the guy you date have to live in New York, or are you open to different places? I mean, I think like the tri-state area, um, Philly, DC. I mean, uh, yeah, maybe like the furthest I'll travel is like DC, Philly. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so like, like Philly, DC, area for New sure. York. Okay, that works. Connecticut, Jersey. You know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what about um, body type? What do you like? Um, kind of like dad bod, um, athletic. I'm not really picky. Okay. Dad I kind of like a athletic. taller, someone taller than I am. Because uh, I, yeah, someone taller than I am. So but, you're uh, you're five yeah. ten. You want somebody like five ten and up, or five eleven and up? Right, 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 right. Like five ten and up. Okay. Okay. Now, are you more into like monogamy, open relationships, agreements, poly? What you like? Yeah, monogamy. But I mean, yeah, monogamy, monogamy. You know, cheating is not a deal breaker for me because I'm not like a super like 
let's have sex every day type person. I kind of have like grown into like understanding why people cheat, especially when it comes to like, oh, I just had sex with somebody. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm more understanding, mm-hmm. I guess, but I'm not in going into a situation knowing that somebody wants to like, you know, sleep around with multiple people. Okay. So you're saying monogamy, but cheating is not a deal breaker. Right. Okay. Right. But you don't want to go into the relationship saying we're in an open relationship. Yeah, we're not in an open relationship now. No. Okay. 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 But I understand. I mean, I understand why men cheat. I understand why people cheat. You know, I get certain reasons why, unless you're like cheating. Emo- if you're just having sex with someone, you know, emotional cheating is a little bit different for me, but like, I'm not, you know, I'm bored this week and I'm not trying to have sex with you and you go and do what you do. It's not a big deal. Do you want but, him to tell you about it or just not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have that conversation. I think lying is the part that causes like issues and in, in, in cheating, right? I think the lying is what people um, hold on to. Yeah. Not really like the act of cheating. So if you're open with me and like honest with me and let me know, um, we can figure it out, but. Yeah, I yeah. probably shouldn't have said that. I, I probably shouldn't have said that because I feel like whenever I have this conversation with people, especially on the first date, I feel like it gives people like, oh, we can have an open relationship. And that's not what I'm saying at all. No. So there, there are different types of relationships. There's monogamy where it's just you all. That's the foundation. There are agreements where like you might say, I was vacation. You can go do what you want. Or I'm going to be out of town for a couple months. If you have sex with somebody, it's okay. It's a clear like, rules and communication um and it's not often really right um open relationships are a a lot of communication where both of you might be stepping out and having you know sex with somebody else or maybe together Mm -hmm. yeah yeah so monogamy (laughs) he's like so after all that clarification monogamy people (laughs) okay what about race what do you prefer um, I prefer black men. Okay, and when I, I'm I'm gonna qualify that right. Personally, I prefer foundational black men. Um, but I have recently explored like dating non foundational black men. Um, but I've just always date, dated like foundational black men. I have never heard that term non foundational black men or foundational black men. So what is that? I, mean? I like. I like American black men. I like black Americans, right? So like people who are descendants of of people of the African slave trade in America. I like American black men. I've dated a lot of, I live in New York and I've dated outside of my race a lot. Non, a non-foundational black men have been very difficult for me to deal with. So I stick to foundational black men. Where'd the foundational piece come from? I've never heard that. Meaning meaning foundational, like they have roots here in America, like their roots. So you want American black men. Right, exactly. Americanized black men. Like an an American black man. American black man. You don't want an African, you don't want a Jamaican. I mean, I'll take Jamaican, but I don't want an African. No offense. I really don't. No offense. No offense. I just, I just, I just want to, I just wanted clarity because I've never heard that term. Yeah. Sorry. (laughs) Yeah. I I learned something new. Okay. I do think there are cultural differences between (laughs) non-foundational black men and foundational black men. They are. There are cultural differences. Yeah. Yeah. Would you date a black man from England? Probably, probably not. Probably, probably not. not. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Nah, I, I yeah, just wanted not. to see what the nuances are because, you know. Yeah. <laughs> probably not. I mean, it's just for me, I'm very I'm very grounded in my blackness, right? Mm-hmm. And the cultural differences sometimes for me is a lot. And having to explain my, you know, American blackness to mm-hmm. non-foundational people, it to me is exhausting. So I kind of just stayed out of that. Um, so okay, okay. So foundational black men. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and yes, I've actually traveled much. I've traveled extensively. There you go, people. <laughs> All right. So I have questions for Jamar. Use the question function. Or wave in the comment section if you want to come on and ask him a question, okay? And thank you for the people who have purchased badges. Thank you for 
who bought badges tonight. I appreciate it. Um, oh, in 10 years, do you plan on campaigning, doing anything with politics? Like, what, what's the plan? Yes. yes. Um, so, yeah, so I'm very politi politically active. I do have political aspirations. So mm -hmm. that's why I say the person who I, I date or you would have to kind of have, like, either be interested in that or kind of have, like, their own thing going on so that they don't feel alone. Okay. Because I am very... Yeah, I'm very active. Okay. So, yeah, listen, y'all be into politics, right? Would you date a guy who says, hey, I'm not going to vote. I don't believe in that whole system. No. That's a deal yeah. breaker? Yeah. that. I mean, yeah, that, that that's a deal breaker. And not because they're not voting. I think maybe it's not a deal breaker. I don't know. I, I I'm not open for stupid conversations anymore, though, the older I get, you know? Mm -hmm. So, like, if, you come, if you're going to come to me, no, there's nothing you can say to me to make me understand why you don't vote. So, no. Yeah, no. Would you yeah, date no. someone who has a different, a different political party than you? Yeah. I, I, I'm not one of those tribal political people. I mm -hmm. vote across party lines. I okay. vote based on the person. Mm -hmm. um, but I am a Democrat. But okay. I do vote based on both... I voted Republican before. Okay, okay. Let's see what other questions they got for you. Um, uh, someone said, based on your personality, um, what type of cocktail would you be? Um, a Paloma. What's in a Paloma? Uh, tequila, grapefruit juice, a little, a little soda, a little triple sec. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. You know, like, because, you know, grapefruit's like kind of pack a punch. Okay. <laughs> I, my personality, once you get to know me, you uh, is very, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm very, okay. yeah, if I pack a little bit of punch. All right, let's see what else. Um, oh, does the clerk in your city also deal with elections? N no. No. Okay. No, 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 no. They're trying to see if they can rig something. I don't know what's going no, on. No, no, no. We're not rigging nothing. We win in, we win in pure votes. Um, they said, are you well-traveled? Where are some places that you um, have, you know, visited before? Um, well, all over the States. Um, Europe. So, do I want me to name, like, name individual countries? Like, yeah. The UK, UK France, uh, Spain, Netherlands, Germany. Uh, what, Austria, Italy. Oh, so he's been he's been I've around been, people. The passport has stamps been, on it. There's yeah. stamps on stamps on stamps. Okay. West, West Africa. I booked a trip to East Africa, East Africa tour next year. I'm outside. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um they said, Are you from um Poughkeepsie? Yeah, yeah. He is from there. So my yeah, so my dad is from here. My mom and my mom and her family, they're from Charleston, South Carolina. So like I'm like a Geechee New Yorker. That's a good combination over there. That's yeah. Um, what other questions they have? Um, oh, no, that was for the other person. Oh, what's your zodiac sign and when is your birthday? I'm an Aries. My birthday is March 25th. Okay. okay. So I'm a March Aries. Okay. All right. All right, we come to Charleston. Come to Charleston. Yeah, <laughs> I used to live in Charleston. I used to live in Charleston. I had to leave Charleston. Traffic got bad. The ninjas is boring. Money ain't good. Uh, apparently, there are a whole bunch of Geechee people in the comment section right now. But I love my Geechee people. That's a fact. <laughs> What's your favorite dish to cook? Um, I cook red rice pretty much once a week. <laughs> Um, I'm really geeky. No, I cook red rice. I actually cook, cooked a pot of Hoppin' John's on Sunday. Um, I had some family over, made some collard greens. It was oh. actually a nice little time. Okay, okay. Look, he, he can cook over there for you. I cook. I cook like an old black lady. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I'm down. Okay, okay. Um, we got to see what you look like head to toe. So you got to stand up, turn around, so we can see okay, what you look like. Think. It's my... How am I? I Hold on. Can you even? I should fix this. Sure, turn around. Yes, you gotta give us a little spin. All right, y'all. This is Jamar. <clears throat> Jamar lives in Poughkeepsie, New York, which is upstate oh, New you York. Said it right. 
I said it right. <laughs> he is 33, 5 foot 10, 190 pounds. He is an Aries. He is team verse or aside. He is uh he works at the city um county with a city, he's a city clerk that, with records. Yeah. I am the city clerk, the city chamberlain. I'm sorry, the city <laughs> clerk, <laughs> the, okay? The first black male, okay, in the city, okay? So he made history. He is open to having children, open to getting married, will date between 28 and 45. Um, you don't have to live in his city. You can live in Philly, New York, you know, D.C. He likes dad bots, athletic, average, he is into dating foundational black men, which means you were born in the United States as a black man. Just to clarify, people, okay? Can we put an asterisk? Can we put an asterisk by this and throw in Jamaican men because I do enjoy Jamaican men and, and some Jamaican men, okay? <laughs> He's into monogamy, but if you cheat on him, it's not the end of the world. Um, tell us your Instagram handle and spell it, please. Um, it's J underscore Maurice. So it's J-A-Y underscore M-A-U-R-I-C-E. All right. All right. Listen, um, Jamar, great interview. Go on some dates and keep us posted, okay? Will do. All right. Good night. Good night. All right. Okay, people. Hashtag non-foundational black men. Let me write that down because that is the first time I've heard that. Yes. All right. What y'all think? Is he dateable? Is he not dateable? If you think he is dateable, go ahead and put a 10. If not, put a 1. I, I, I want y'all to vote, okay? I want all 200 of y'all who are watching to vote. <laughs> oh, what's the, the the effortless cools? <laughs> Michael, I know you was given a zero because you are a, you are a non foundational black man. That's why. <laughs> Woo! I see tens. I see sevens. Eights. Nine. Y'all gonna be in Jamar's inbox. He seems cool. Y'all gonna be in there. Listen, I, I know all y'all gonna be in his inbox. Somebody needs to remind him to make his page um, public, though. Um, <laughs> Chris, really? <laughs> oh, <laughs> y'all better go out and vote. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's foundational black Americans. Thank you. I, you know, it's given white supremacy. It's given hints of white supremacy. <laughs> That's what it's given. <clears throat> but he seems like a cool guy. <laughs> Are y'all done voting? Are y'all done voting? I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I I see. I think he's averaging about like a seven or an eight. About a seven or an eight. People watch this show all the time, and when I people say like when I say, "Hey, are you a top, bottom, verse, or side?" The gays don't know what a side is. I feel like you should lose your gay card or your queer card or your same gender loving card, whatever y'all want to call yourself. Um, if you don't know what a side is, a side is a gay man that likes to have sex, a cisgender gay man. It could be anybody. Yeah, whatever. But they don't like penetration. It's They don't like penetration. They do everything else. A side does everything except um, penetration. No anal penetration, okay? <laughs> I've known what a side is. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I guess no, learn what a non-foundational Black American was today. I guess learn that.
you know. <laughs> hey, Gabe. <laughs> right. They don't give. They don't receive. Nobody's doing the bending. Nobody's doing the bending. All they're doing is laying down and are standing up. Yeah, that's what they that's what they're doing. <sighs> I don't know what y'all are saying in this comment section. Y'all are crazy. Listen, do we have emails who are shooting the shot or are we done for the night? Because I think we have 200 people who are watching. Do we have anybody that's single that wants to join? If so, click the request button and let me know, okay? <laughs> Somebody said, did y'all tag Kirk Franklin? I heard he's a side. Kirk is not a part of the LGBTQ plus community. He is married to a woman and straight, okay? Y'all are hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Okay? Whew! Let's see. Um, I don't know why. Is Shelly coming back on here? Did she click the request button again? I don't know what. No. All right. Are we done, people? Are y'all done? Are y'all coming on? Or are y'all done for the night? Let me know. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I, I don't have anybody. In the, in the queue. So, oh, wait. Yes, we do. Um, what's it? Taylor. I stay tailored. I stay tailored. Let's see. Let's, you got to make sure you update your app if you're trying to come on. Hey, what's going on, no, Cam? I know who I am. Cam, what's going on? <laughs> I just came to say hey. I saw that you were about to get off. I just came to say hello. Okay, okay, Cam. Cam, you know you broke the internet when you did um an interview. Listen, I almost sent you a cease and desist. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Not me. <laughs> but like you giving your disclaimer. You're not <laughs> right, right. Um, Cam, tell them why you are famous on the Instagram, as the I'm old people say. Ned, I just came to say hello to Lamont. Okay, well, thanks for saying hi. It's your birthday but, come up, right? But because of Lamont, you know, and his antics, <laughs> <laughs> my video he keeps reposting, and you know, but I'm not gonna hold you. You know, I've gotten a lot of DMs from a lot of great guys. Okay, okay. I've Great friends, like even, you know, they seem to know everything when they hit me up, you know, so <laughs> it's been fun. Now, well, question though, Cam, in seriousness though, you know, because I know you're the legendary, do you do you still wear lace, right? Oh my God. That, that's and, you. And for clarity, it was never to be shady. Like I was never anticipating to be shady at all. That was never my goal. I was just trying to remind the man that I knew who he was. <laughs> That's the only he would know. Like no friend, I was there. We were there, right? Right. Yeah. Like don't don't come on here to try to undermine me and be <laughs> I feel like, you know, that was completely messy and unnecessary. Oh. But what was your question? Have you gone on some dates at least from the show? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I a few um and it's been fun and like i said i've met a lot of great guys like that's just hit me up based off the interviews that they saw mm -hmm. and to be honest i hate that it was depicted the way that it was because that's not character mm -hmm. at all like they're trying to shade or bring shades to someone else mm -hmm. it just you know Things happen the way you did. Listen, it, it was it was it was not planned. It just happened, and those are the best times, especially when you have to remind somebody and say, "No, friend." But you know what's crazy? The only reason I came on is because my birthday is Saturday. Oh, it really? Seems to always happen mm -hmm. these past few years, always around my birthday. Mm -hmm. But to cast, it was just me. My friends wasn't here, you know, so I just came on to say, hey, you know, I'm not shooting my shot. Okay. Okay. Well, listen, happy but if you birthday. Were, if you How old are you turning? 
games. What was it? I said, how, how, I said, happy early birthday, and how old are you turning? 36. I'll be 36 on Saturday. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, turn up for your birthday. Try to enjoy, you know, it's around Halloween, so I'm sure you'll be wearing a couple costumes, you know. Lamont, not too much. You know, I'll be in Houston this weekend for my birthday, and I hear that they have a lot of events going on, so I'm excited to see. Friend, I got four costumes I'm going to wear before the <laughs> end of the next couple of weeks are over, okay? Um, That's what you do. That's what you do, as you should. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, so try- listen, are you doing after hours spicy night? Not tonight. L- last week, listen, last week I had my husband co-hosting with me, and it was way too much. It, it, no, it was perfect. I feel like I feel like you should use art on the dating show. In and out, you know, it's your show, but mm-hmm. in and out. But I feel like he really brought a different perspective than you're able to do. Mm-hmm. You know, you want to be biased, but he dig deeper. He got to the intimate questions that really made sense. And I love every bit of it because every time I was like, no, Lamont asked this, Art can right? <laughs> they said it was Oprah and Iyanla on, on, on last week, okay? <laughs> I was like... It gave Gail and Oprah. It was Gail and Oprah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Or Gail didn't mind asking those questions, but Oprah, you know, she got to keep her billion billion dollar empire. <laughs> <laughs> Gail said, fuck it, I'm going to ask. <laughs> exactly. I was here. For it. I love the show as much as I could watch. Tonight was interesting. I can't wait to see what comes after. Yes, yes. We'll see. We'll see. Well, try to have fun for your birthday in Houston, and thanks for saying hi. Absolutely. Have a good night, love. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm happy. Um, Let me see. Let me make sure. There we go. How do I leave? I got you. I got you. There you go. I'm IT again. <sighs> I, I'm happy. I'm Cam to say hi. Say, came to say hi. We got two more people in here. They said, <laughs> no, Art was Wendy Williams. <laughs> Y'all <a> mess. <laughs> All right, Mario, I'll come to you and then Trey. Mario and then Trey. Mario and then Trey. Let's see. Um, hmm. Is he ready? Hello? 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 Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. I'm doing great. I'm at the gym, so I'm kind of cutting in my gym workout to be on the show. It looks like you're at Planet Fitness. Yes, we can see. <laughs> <laughs> can you hear me okay? Because I have my earphones on and I don't have the case with me. It's at home, so I got to keep them in. No, we can we can hear you. You just got to prop the phone up somewhere um, so we can um, so you're not like too moving around too much. I don't think I can prop it up because I'm sitting in a massage chair, so there's nowhere to prop it up at. But I can just kind of hold it back. Okay, 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 okay. Mario, um, do me a favor. Try to wipe the screen off a little bit, though. Uh, okay. Much better. better. Much better. Much better. Okay, okay. Mario, where do you live? I live in New York City. Okay, in New York City in the house. Okay. Yeah. We don't know which. And it's a pleasure to meet you, by the way, no mind. You have helped me so much in my relationship and dating. Uh, with your advice so i really do appreciate this show and what you're doing for people and yeah i just wanted to say that before we got started oh thank you mario i appreciate the support yes 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 okay um how old are you i'm 42 42 how tall are you and about how much do you weigh um five nine and i weigh 185 185 five nine okay what's your zodiac sign mario i'm a leader. One and one point. <laughs> you said you're Leo? Uh-huh. Okay. It's, are you an August Leo? I'm a July Leo. You're a July Leo. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> now, um, sexually, are you more team top, bottom, verse, side? How do you get down? I am team bottom. I don't know what it, I know what a side is, but I don't see the purpose of that, but <laughs> I, I'm not judging, but I am team bottom. <laughs> He said, I'm not judging. <laughs> I don't know the purpose of that is. Um, but there are people who are our sides. Okay. <laughs> now, are you 100% a bottom or do you give up some D every now and then? I've been in relationships before. 
and I have compromised, but I that's only in relationships. So I am team bottom up. Okay. Okay. When's the last relationship you were in? The last relationship I was in was about a two years ago, I believe. Okay. Now it's about two years ago. Okay. So you ain't give no D up in, in two years. Yeah. Yeah. I have not. No. Yep. 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 So it's giving team bottom, people. Team bottom. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sorry, people. <laughs> no, we, look, we need we need bottoms. It it's game we next. We, we do. Somebody got a <laughs> somebody got a bottom. Okay. True. And, <laughs> unless you just you're a side. Unless you're a side. <laughs> <laughs> we love I, I, I reserve my I don't comments. know. <laughs> I'm 42. I don't know. Uh, there was no such thing as size when I was coming through the ranks. So this is a new, this is a new Gen Z thing. So I'll let you guys have that. Yeah, right. You said when you were growing up, somebody was getting some D. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. What, what type of work do you do? Well, I'm in public relations. I'm a public relations specialist. Mm -hmm. But right now I'm getting ready to, um, I'm studying for my PhD. Okay. So um, the second cohort starts in January. Love it, love it. So you're in public relations now, getting your PhD. Where do you get your PhD in now, uh, Mario? It's going to be in public relations and marketing. Okay, nice. How much longer do you have? Uh, three more years. Oh, wow. Woo, yeah, I would say yeah, I'm pay for myself here. Yeah. Three years. I'm gonna pray for yeah. you, brother. I'm gonna pray for you. Okay, okay. Thank you. What's your um Instagram handle? Uh it's Antoine78, I believe. You gotta spell it for the people. A-N-T-W-I-O-N-E um seven eight. Okay, okay. All right, you all. This is Mario. Mario lives in New York City. Uh Bye, guys. not McKissie, um, from the last guy. Uh, he's 42, <laughs> 5'9", 185 pounds. He is a Leo, team bottom, and he works in public relations and is getting his PhD as well. Yeah, I am. Okay. Um, um, if you have questions for Mario, use the question function or use the chat, people, okay? <laughs> Let's see. Listen, I don't. I just read a comment that I have to address. Um, I see it, friend. I see it. I see it. I think that just because someone speaks well and just knows a lot about himself doesn't necessarily mean that I only date white men. Um, a man is a man, no matter what color skin they have. Like, it doesn't matter. If you are out there and you are single and you are ready to be serious about your life, be serious with yourself and the next person that you meet, then that's what I'm looking for. Right. So it doesn't matter what color skin you are to me at all. Yeah. I live in New York City, so we live in a very diverse ethnic, like diverse city. So, yeah. You feel like different. everybody's, everybody's equal I opportunity. Do, I do. I've dated a multifaceted of, of people. Like, it doesn't matter to me. As long as you know how to talk to a person and you're, you just, it's just their presence, that's all that really matters to me. Okay. And you know what? So one of the when I'm I, we both are seeing the comment section. They're like, "Oh, he only dates white men," and they're saying yeah, because I saw, I you have a lot of. And I was like, "Oh yeah." Yeah, <laughs> and I think they're basing that on like, I think the amount of white people you have in your photos. But I see a good mix of black and white. So I I I, I see a real. I'm looking at it now. It's very diverse. Yeah. 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 I'm right. Both my friends are a, a, a complete rainbow. So, <laughs> I guess you date, you get one white friend or you date one white man, and then the assumption is you date all outside your race. Yes, I do. I do. I don't know. I can't speak for all of us. But no, I'm just I saying. Do. They're just, we're, not a mon we're not a monolith here. So, someone is, someone, <laughs> they're just making generalizations, just like you only date oh, yeah, white yeah. men. It's like, you, you're like everybody. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, well, what what were the races of your last three or four boyfriends? Well, my last boyfriend was black. Mm -hmm. um, the one before him was white. Okay. 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 See people. See people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move on. Okay. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell us, what type of guy are you looking for? Ooh, uh, well, 
for me, I'm just looking for someone who, first of all, is a great communicator. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, they have to be adventurous um, and open-minded, to say the least. Mm -hmm. um, those three things to me are important. Mm -hmm. Also, you have to know what it is that you're looking for and want. Mm -hmm. um, life is too short to be playing games with yourself and other people. So I feel like if you're coming, if you're coming forward to be be in the dating rink, then I think it's so important to just be authentic with yourself. They'll know who you are. So I think that's most important what I look for in other people. Okay. What are some of your good qualities? Well, I like to laugh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm also very, I'm, I'm also very compassionate and I'm empathetic. I'm a great listener. Um, so a lot of my friends come to me for advice, but also at the same time, I have my I have my things that that are hang ups, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> what, what 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 are your hang ups, aka red flags, huh, Mario? Um people who people who don't know how to hold a conversation. I literally having one word answers or saying nothing at all, empty conversations. That's a super red flag for me. Um, another red flag for me is someone who doesn't know how to communicate. Yeah, yeah. Effectively. And conflict resolution is another big one for me. If you don't know how to have a conversation when you're angry or feeling a certain kind of way about something important to you, um, that's another red flag for me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Now, have you ever been married or engaged before, Mario? Uh, no, I've never been engaged or married. What's the longest relationship you've been in? Uh, three years. Three years. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, do you want to get married? Do you want children? Oh my! I, I that's been my that's been my ambition for a very a while now. I would love to get married and have a family and have kids, mm -hmm. uh, but I would have to find a partner that would help me and have a foundation there to have kids. So, yeah. And right now. I am studying for my PhD, so um, the focus is really not right there, right there, but I will allow somebody to go on this journey with me, so that would be awesome. So you're open to dating, but they have to understand you're in a PhD program, right? Absolutely. Okay. okay. Now, what's a good age range that you'll date, Mario? What's the youngest? What's the oldest? The youngest I'll date is probably like 36 to probably about 50 at the most. Okay, 36, 50. You're 42. That's yeah. a good age range. Yeah. yeah. Now, did the guy you date have to live in New York City? Or are you open to other places? I would rather New York City and the greater tri state area, mm -hmm. Connecticut, New Jersey, New York. Okay. Um, but I'm not opposed to dating someone outside of the, the tri state area at all. No, but just as long as it's not crazy like California, Washington State. Okay. You know, that takes a little bit more uh, of a dedication and commitment. And we all know that um, sometimes long distance relationships can be very, very challenging, especially if you haven't found that foundation with that person before they actually moved away or relocated, then their chances of that going forward are pretty slim. Yeah, yeah. So you would do like New York City, Jersey, maybe Philly, maybe DC. Yeah. Uh-oh, are we frozen? Lord, today. All right, can you all hear me? I don't know. It looked like it froze. Hmm. Let me know in the comment section if you can, um, if you all can hear me. Because I can see myself, but it looks like he is spinning. And the Wi-Fi is still going. Ugh. I don't know. What's going on? Can y'all? <laughs> can y'all hear me? And can, yes or no? Can, can you? Can you? Can you let me know? Yes, it paused. Is, is he paused? Oh goodness! I, <laughs> I let me try to remove him and see what's going on. No, 
Can y'all see me? Yes or no? Mm, mm, mm. Let's see. No, I'm not paused. All right, what I'm going to do is, I guess I'm going to have to stop and redo this. I'll stop and redo this. YouTube will have a part two of this. <laughs>